What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today I'm gonna to make for you a White Lady. A White Lady is a cocktail that was created by Harry McElhone of Ciro's Bar and then also Lady Harry's American Bar in Paris. It was created in 1919 and then roughly about a decade later, he changed, he like reformulated the recipe and then it was published by Harry Craddock in the Savoy Cocktail Book. And so now there's a big uh, to do about who actually created the cocktail. Some people think Harry McElhone which is what I kind of tend to fall in that camp. Some people think Harry Craddock created it later. Um, but the, there is a, a white lady, there is a cocktail of this name, different recipe created earlier, definitely by McElhone. So that's the whole thing. Uh, also, this kind of relates to Halloween, so I thought I would kind of do it because I've been falling a little bit behind on crea doing actual Halloween cocktails. Uh, and so, uh, for those of you that know, don't know, a white lady is also an appar a female apparition that has been very popular in United States and European folklore, and then also, uh, you know, I think in Asian folklore, there's some in Asian folklore as well. Anyway, usually the legend of the white lady surrounds like someone's daughter going missing, or the girl who went to the dance and never came home, and then uh, she obviously died and became a white lady. Uh, so that's what I got for you on this drink. This drink is basically a gin sidecar with the addition of egg white, and it is phenomenal. Now I gotta get talking because not only is this tempered, it's actually starting to melt. So let's get this drink underway. First thing we're gonna do, half an ounce of lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice, of course. One ounce of Cointreau. And if you want it to be a true sidecar, it has to be Cointreau. It can't be Curacao. It can't be triple sec, it's gotta be Cointreau. That is in the sidecar. And then, one and a half ounces of gin. And we are going to add our egg white. I like to do it in the big tin, so if we spoil the egg, we don't ruin our cocktail. There we go. Put that in there, because we don't need it anymore. And then we are going to add our egg to it. We're gonna add our cocktail to our egg. I'm gonna wipe my hands off, because I got a little, whatever, I don't want it to be slippery. I'm gonna close the gate, and what we're gonna do is dry shake this. And what we're doing in dry shaking is we're emulsifying the egg. We're adding air to it and creating almost like a meringue by hand. Um, it is going to give it a very frothy texture. Whoa. Forgot that too. Oh, and forgot that too. I actually did forget things. I was going to try and get through an entire day without forgetting stuff, and I failed completely. But that's okay. I think you guys love me for it. All right, I think that's pretty emulsified. That's looking pretty good. Got a nice foam going. Then what I like to do is add the ice to the other one and combine that. If you add your ice straight from the freezer, it's gonna crack, because uh, that's what cold ice does. If it's not tempered, it's gonna crack. And if it cracks, just let it sit for 10 seconds in the tin and it will refuse itself. The reason why we're shaking with a big rock of ice is because the extra dilution, if you used a lot of ice, if you use regular ice, the extra dilution created in the shaking would actually break down some of the foam and you wouldn't get a good foam. So we use um, a big rock of ice, which is great at chilling the cocktail, but it adds very little dilution to the cocktail. So if you ever want to shake a cocktail and add the least amount of dilution, you shake it with a big rock. go. We're using the, I left my good bar fly one in the sink, so we're using a crappy Hawthorne strainer. So we're going to double strain just in case, even though I'd heard no cracking. And there you have it, my friends. The white lady. Let's taste it and see how it goes. It looks delightful.
So you have a lot of citrus. Well, you have not a lot of citrus, half an ounce. You have a fair amount of citrus and you have a bunch of Cointreau in there. The Cointreau is gonna be the sugar content, but that's gonna be very dry. So you're gonna get that citrus and orange, and then you're also gonna taste that gin really, really forward. This is not going to be a sweet cocktail, it's gonna be a very dry cocktail. And so you just keep that in mind, and you also get this nice fluffiness, fluffiness from the texture of the egg. So there you have it, my friends, the white lady. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.